response to public pressure, accounts were first published in 1995, and they've made the news ever since. Not so long ago, a palace press conference would have been inconceivable. Well, we've got all the raw correspondence from the national media in this room here. They came in at 9 o'clock. They've been given a copy of the raw public finances report, which will come out later this morning. It's 127 pages long, so they have a chance to study it and to think about what sort of questions they want clarification on. And this is the one chance in the year they get to actually ask direct questions and for me to make a statement on raw finances to them. Sir Alan is used to dealing with a sceptical press. Good morning. Um, I wanted to say a few words about our policy to finance here first. Uh, our key aim is not to try and achieve a low-cost monarchy. What we're really after is to achieve a high-quality, very efficient, very professional value-for-money monarchy. The second part of our policy is that we are spending, and we realize it, taxpayers' money, and therefore we want to be as transparent about it as we possibly can. In all of that, we are reporting that the head of state expenditure this year was 62 pence per person in the country. And that's not a daily rate, it's not a monthly rate, it's the annual cost of the monarchy. We're um, struck, I think, uh, as ever by the travel costs. And whereas it cost the staff of the Prince of Wales